everyone. My name is Savannah and today I will be guiding you through a yoga class focused on strengthening your core. Let's begin right away by lying on our back in Shavasana for a few breaths to center and ground ourselves before we begin to move. Make yourself comfortable, take up lots of space. Legs open up long towards the front corners of your mat. Palms can face up or palms can face down, and you can close your eyes if you like. And start to settle in with the breath. Settle in onto your mat. Notice how the body is feeling. Notice if there are any areas of discomfort, aches, soreness, stiffness. And can you keep those areas of the body in mind as you practice, as you move your body through this class? And then notice how your mind is feeling. How are you feeling mentally and emotionally? What is your mental state like right now? Just notice and work towards accepting it just as it is. There is no right or wrong way to feel right now. And it is okay if you have lots of thoughts running through your mind. Be an observer of your thoughts. Watch them come and go. And can you start to breathe a little bit deeper? Take three more breaths here. Allow each inhale to be full and each exhale to be complete. From here, wiggle into your fingers and your toes. It makes some movement throughout the body, rolling your wrists and your ankles around. And then bring your knees into your chest when you are ready. Hug your legs in towards your chest. Arms wrap around the legs. Maybe you rock a little bit from side to side. And from here, take the legs long towards the front of your mat, arms long towards the wall that is behind you. Stretch as long as you can. Start to take the feet even farther out in front of you. Take the arms even longer out back behind you. And then hug the knees into your chest. We'll do that one more time. Hug the knees in. And then take the arms long overhead, legs go long out towards the top of your mat. And then keep walking the feet out even farther out in front of you. Keep stretching the arms farther back behind you. Full body stretch. And then hug the knees in towards your chest. Make sure as we do this core work that you allow your breath to be full and steady. If you are not able to breathe full, taking deep breaths, then that is a sign that you've gone too far into whatever pose or whatever movement it is that you are doing. Let's begin now with the first core exercise. 
take the legs into a table-like position. So 90 degrees, take the hands onto the thighs, fingers spread nice and far apart, head relaxes down onto the mat, shoulders relax down as well. And then press the hands into the legs and press the legs back into the hands. Press the hands even more, press the legs back towards you. Press the hands into the legs, pressing the legs away from you and then pressing the legs into the hands, bringing the hands towards you. Hold here for about three more breaths. Make sure you are not holding your breath as you hold the pose. You hold the pose, but the breath stays flowing in and out through the nose or through the mouth. One more full, complete cycle of breath now. And then hug the knees into your chest, release that pose. Take the arms long overhead, take the legs long as well. And we'll do that once more. Bring the legs into tabletop. Hands onto the legs, fingers spread nice and far apart. Press the hands into the legs, the legs back into the hands. Push the hands, push the legs back into the hands. Two more complete cycles of breath here. Keep putting the legs away from you. And then as you push in the opposite direction, bring the legs towards you. So it's both actions at the same time, simultaneously. Hug the knees into your chest, release that pose. Take the arms long overhead, legs towards the top two corners of your mat. Find a full body stretch. From here, bring your legs up to the ceiling, arms down alongside your body. Take your legs down about a third of the way and hold here. Relax the grip of your hands on your mat. Allow your hands and your wrists, your fingers to be relaxed. Bring the legs back up to the ceiling, back to center. Now bring them halfway down towards the mat. Hold here. Bring them back up to center. Now bring them two thirds of the way down towards the ground. Hold there for about two breaths. Bring them back to center. Bring your legs down to a hover and the arms will reach overhead towards the wall that is behind you. Hug your knees in towards your chest, wrap the arms around your legs, rock from side to side. Let's do that two more times. So Bring the legs up to the ceiling. Bring them down to a hover just above the ground. Arms reach up overhead towards the wall behind you. This time lift your head and shoulders up. Hold here. One more big breath. Bring the knees into your chest. Wrap your arms around your legs. Rock from side to side. Good, take your legs up to the ceiling, bring the legs down to a hover, arms reach overhead, the head and shoulders lift up. Just a little bit longer here, maintain that steady rhythm of your breath, full breaths in, full breaths out. Bring your knees into your chest, Wrap your arms around your legs, rock from side to side. If 
From here, make your way up into a tabletop position. On all fours, shoulders over the wrists, hips over the knees. Fingers are spread nice and far apart. Grounding down into all ten fingers, pressing down into your knees and the tops of your feet. From here, extend your right arm forward, your left leg back. Hold here. Bring elbow towards the knee, crunch it in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, crunch it in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, crunch it in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, crunch it in. Two more. Inhale, extend long. Exhale, crunch it in. Inhale, extend long. Crunch it in. Extend long and hold here. Release, extend your left arm forward, right leg back behind you. Holding here for a couple of breaths before we begin to move. Inhale, exhale, elbow to knee, crunch it in. Inhale, extend long, exhale, crunch it in. Inhale, extend, exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, extend, long, exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, extend, long, exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, extend, long, exhale, elbow to knee. Let's do two more. Inhale, long, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, Extend long and hold here. Good, release your hand and knee down. Extend your left leg back, right arm out in front once again. Back to the first side. Now take your right arm out to the right, left leg out to the left. Hold here. Lift your left leg up higher, right arm up a little bit higher as well. Come back to center. Right arm forward, left leg straight back behind you. Right arm to the right, left leg to the left. Lift arm and leg up higher. Come back to center, arm up in front, leg back behind you. Once again, right arm to the right, left leg up to the left. Lift arm and leg up a little bit higher. Stay strong through your core. Come back to center and hold here. Just one big breath. Release. Make sure that you do this, that your fingers down on the mat are spread nice and far apart so you have that support for your wrist. So we'll bring the left arm out in front now, right leg back behind. Hold here for one big breath. Let's take the left arm out to the left side, right leg out to the right side. Lift arm and leg up higher. Engage through your core. Come back to center. Left arm straight out in front, right leg straight back behind you. Take left arm to the left, right leg to the right. Come back to center. And last time, here, left arm to the left, right leg to the right. Lift the right leg higher, lift the left arm higher as well. Come back to center and hold here. One more full breath in and out through the nose. Release the hand and knee down. Tuck your toes under, come into a hovering tabletop. Lifting the knees just to a very small hover over the ground. So, so the knees and the lower legs, the shins are right close to the ground. Shoulders are over the wrists. All ten fingers are spread nice and far apart. 
your hips are stacked over the knees, and you're looking about a couple of feet out in front of you. Release the knees down. Have a seat onto your feet, onto your heels, and just come back to your breath. Inhaling and exhaling. Notice how the body is feeling. Let's come back into our tabletop position. Tuck the toes under, lift the knees up to a hovering tabletop once again. And from here, extend your right leg straight back behind you. One more big breath here. Hold it if you can. Take rest whenever you need to. Make this practice work for you and how your body is feeling today. Release the knee down. Take the knees down. Back to traditional tabletop. Take one big breath here. In and out through the nose. Tuck the toes under, lift the knees to a hover. From here, extend your left leg straight back behind you. A few breaths here. Allow your breath to be full and complete. Breathe deep into your belly. Take the right knee even closer down towards the ground. Allow the shoulders to be stacked over the wrists. Right hip is over the right knee. Take the left foot even further back behind you and release the left foot back down to the mat, release the knees down. One full cycle of breath in your tabletop. In and out through the nose. From here, option to do what we just did or option to take the opposite arm out in front. So let's try this. Tuck the toes under, lift your knees up to a hover. And then take your right leg back behind you. Option to stay here or come light onto your left fingertips. Stay here or maybe you start to reach that arm out in front. Let's release. Release all the way to tabletop. Take one big breath in your tabletop. Moving right along, let's try that on the opposite side. Tuck the toes under, lift the knees up to a hover. Keep the knees biting low towards the ground here. And then extend the left leg back. Stay here or come by light onto the right fingertips so the palm is lifted. Stay here or reach that right hand, right arm out in front towards the front of your space. Bring the right knee lower towards the ground if you can. Good, and let's release. Come all the way back to tabletop. One full cycle of breath here. In and out through the nose. Notice how the body is feeling. Let's come to a seat now on our heels. And we'll place our hands on either side of us towards the hips. Fingers are spread nice and far apart. So my hands are close towards my hips, but a little bit forward towards my knees. And you can always do this pose with books. Make sure your books are the same, about the same height. So you'll use two books, one for each hand. Or if you have yoga blocks, use that. So you'll press your hands down into the mat. Fingers are nice and far apart and see if you can engage your core. Maybe you lift your knees up. Maybe you lift your feet up as well. So we'll try this a few times and see what happens. Inhale, press the hands down into the mat. Exhale, maybe you lift the knees up, engage the core so much. Think of bringing your body into a tight, tight little ball. Knees towards the chest. Maybe you engage the core so much that the feet lift up. Let's continue like this. We'll do that one more time. 
Press the hands down into the mat. Fingers spread nice and far apart. Inhale. Big breath into the belly. Exhale, maybe the knees lift up. Knees towards the chest. Maybe press yourself up. Feet come up off of the ground. Release all the way down. Hands come onto your lap. And take a couple of big breaths here in and out through the nose. Now be proud of yourself for trying that challenging pose. It's called Lolasana or Pendant Pose. Uses a lot of strength in the core as well as the upper body and also the hip flexors, the quadriceps. It doesn't matter if you were able to lift your knees up, if you could lift your feet up, it really doesn't matter if you could do the pose or not. It matters that you try. And be willing to have some fun in your practice. To bring a sense of play and wonder into it. Let's come into a tabletop position. Tuck the toes under. Lift your knees up just to a hover. Extend your right leg back. Hold here. Left knee is very close towards the ground. Take the right foot back to the ground. Extend your left leg back behind you. Right knee is very close towards the ground. Extend your left foot further behind you towards the wall that is behind you. Release, come to hovering tabletop. Bring your hands a little bit further out in front. Take your hips high into your downward facing dog. Your knees can be bent, the heels can be lifted up off of the ground. Fingers should be spread nice and far apart though. From here, walk your hands back to your mat, to your feet. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen out through the spine. Exhale to fold down over your legs. Walk your hands out to the top of your mat, find plank pose. If you prefer, you can lower down into a forearm plank, if that works better for your body. Otherwise, high plank, fingers are spread far apart. Come back to high plank if you lower down to forearm plank and walk your hands back to your feet, back of the mat. Hands come to the shins once you get there. Halfway lift, press your hands into the shins, pull your heart forward, crown of the head reaches towards the front of your space. Hands come down, bend your knees, walk yourself out to plank. Forearm plank or high plank, it's up to you. If you're in forearm plank, your forearms make the shape of a number 11. Forearms are parallel to one another. If you're in high plank, the fingers are spread nice and far apart. Let's walk the hands now back to the feet once again, back of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, hands come to the shins, pull the heart forward, crown of the head reaches forward as well. Legs can be bent here, it's okay if they're not completely straight. Bring the hands back down to the mat, start to walk yourself out, top of the mat, bringing yourself into high plank or forearm plank. Holding here for just a little bit longer. And then lower all the way down to the ground. Elbows hug into the sides of your body as you make that transition. Hands underneath the shoulders, fingers spread far apart. Engage the back body, little weight into the hands as you lift up into a cobra. Inhale, exhale. 
exhale, lower down. Inhale once again, lift up. Use the strength of the back body rather than the strength of your arms. Go lower down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift up. This time, release your hands off the mat, hands underneath the shoulders, and hold here for about five breaths. It's important to work every part of the core. Rather than just the front of the core, we need to work on the back of the core, the back body. One more breath. Release down. Rest one hand over top of the other and rest your forehead onto your hands. From here, hands underneath the shoulders, no weight into the hands. Lift the hands up off the mat. Lift the chest up. Then reach your arms forward towards the front of your space. Lift the chest up even more. Reach your arms back towards your feet. Lift the chest up more once again. Hold here for five breaths with the arms towards the feet. One more breath. Lower down, one hand over top of the other. Rest your forehead down onto your hand. One more cycle of breath here, in and out through the nose. From here, hands come underneath the shoulders, press yourself up into a plank pose. Fingers spread nice and far apart, shoulders over the wrists. Kind of the head reaches forward. Find a nice long line through the entire body. And then step the right foot towards the right hand. Left foot towards the left hand so you're in a hovering tabletop. Step back, both feet to plank and continue like this. Step forward into hovering tabletop. Step back to plank and switch which foot steps first each time. Inhale as you step to hovering tabletop, exhale as you come back to plank. Move as quickly or as slowly as you prefer. We'll do a few more. Come to plank, and then once you find your plank, lower all the way down to the belly. Elbows hug in as you come down. Extend your arms out in front of you. Legs long back behind you. Inhale, lift up. Legs and arms, everything lifts up off of the ground. Exhale to lower. We'll do about four more of those. Inhale, lift up. Exhale to lower. Inhale, lift up. Exhale to lower. Inhale, lift up. Exhale.
exhale, come down. One more time, inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower. From here, bring your arms out into a T, off to the sides. Inhale, lift everything up and we'll hold this for about 10 breaths. Lift the arms, lift the chest, lift the crown of the head, lift the legs. Can you use your hamstrings, the backs of your legs, to lift the legs up even more towards the sky? Use your back body strength to lift the chest and the arms up. Three more breaths. Stay in the pose for as long as you can. Take a break. Make this practice work for you. Rest whenever you need to. Great work. Let's lower down. Bring one hand over top of the other. Rest the forehead down onto the hand. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders. Inhale, lift up into a high cobra. Fingers spread far apart. Lift the chest up, open through the heart. Exhale to lower. Let's do a few more. Inhale, lift up. Elbows hug in towards the sides of your body. Lower down as you breathe out. Two more. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, come back down. Last one here. Inhale, lift all the way up. Can you straighten through your arms just a little bit more? Maybe reach the crown of the head higher up towards the ceiling and then lower all the way down. Tuck the toes under, leave the hands where they are. Press up through plank. And from your plank, press back to downward facing dog. Walk your hands to your feet, back of the mat, hands come to the shins, pull your heart forward, lengthen out through the spine, pull out your hands down, walk yourself out into a high plank, hands to the top of your mat, walk your feet in towards hovering tabletop, from here take your right foot back behind you, extend the leg, left knee is super close towards the ground. Release and switch sides. Left leg extends back behind you. Right knee is super close towards the ground. Release. Come to a high plank. And walk your hands back to your feet, back of the mat. Inhale, lengthen up through the spine. Exhale to fold down. Walk your hands out into a plank. Once you're in your plank, walk your feet in towards the hands. So you're in hovering tabletop. Extend the right leg back behind you, holding here. Release, extend the left leg back behind you. Hold here. Release, walk your feet back to high plank. Walk your hands back to your feet. Find a halfway lift. Hands come to the shins. Lengthen out through your spine. Plant your hands down to your mat. Bending your knees. Walk yourself out into plank. Step your feet forward a little bit. Come to hovering tabletop. Extend the right leg back behind you. Release and switch sides. Left leg extends back behind you now. Release, step both feet back to high plank. Walk your hands back to the back of your mat, to your feet. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Walk your hands forward. 
top of your mat. Let's do that little flow two more times. Feet walk forward towards the hands. Right leg extends back, hovering tabletop. Left knee is super close towards the ground. Good, switch sides. Left leg extends back. Release, step back to plank. Walk your hands back to your feet. Once you're there, halfway lift, lengthen out through the spine. Hands come to the shins. Hands come down to the mat, walk yourself out into a plank. Step the feet in towards the hands. Hovering tabletop, once you're there, extend your right leg back behind you. Release, extend the left leg back behind you. Release, step back to plank and hold your plank for one full breath. Walk your hands back to your feet, back of the mat. Hands come to your shins. You can stay here and hold right here. Hands can come to your heart center, or arms can reach out to a T if you would like more of a challenge. Hold here, allow your chest, your spine to be parallel to the ground. Lengthen out from the crown of your head all the way back towards your tailbone, the lowest part of your spine. Release and fold down over your legs. Bend your knees as much as you would like. Inhale, halfway lift, bring your hands to your shins. Pull your heart forward. Exhale to fold down over the legs. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen out, find some space through the back body. Exhale to fold. One more time. Inhale, halfway lift, hands come to the shins just below the knees. And then fold over the legs, bend the knees as much as you need to. Bring opposite hand to opposite elbow and stay here and breathe as you hold the pose. Make sure you are not also holding your breath. Let's walk the hands back out towards the top of your mat. Come to plank and lower down to your belly. Slowly with control, elbows come in as you lower. From here, let's take the arms out into your T. Lift everything up off of the mat and hold for about 10 breaths. Use your back body strength to lift everything up off of the mat a little bit more. Can you lift your right leg higher and then your left leg higher? Your right arm higher your left arm higher, lift your chest up more. Notice how higher you just got off of the ground. One more full breath. Lower all the way down. From here, hands underneath the shoulders, lift up into a plank. Lower down to forearm plank. Lower down to sphinx. Come onto the tops of your feet, untucking the toes. Engage through your core, press down through your forearms, your hands, your elbows. Lift your hips. Lift everything up off of the ground. Your forearms stay down. Your inner variation of forearm plank. Come back down to Sphinx, inhale, exhale, come back to that forearm plank variation with the toes untucked, you're on the tops of your feet instead of the balls of your feet. Lower down to Sphinx, let's continue like this. 
You can move fast or you can move slow. Let's do about five more. Inhale to lift, exhale to lower. Peel your heart up as you come into Sphinx. Look down towards your mat in between your arms as you come to plank. And look up towards the ceiling as you come to Sphinx. Let's do two more. Good, rest everything down. One hand comes on top of the other. Forehead comes to rest down onto the hands. From here, hands come underneath the shoulders, press up into a high plank. Step your feet to your hands, make your way to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands come to the shins, pull your heart forward, hips go back, exhale, fold down. Bring your feet together, heels just slightly apart, hands to heart center, lift up into chair pose, bending the knees a lot, hips down towards the ground. From here, reach your arms up, inhale, exhale, hands come to heart center, twist to your right. Come back to heart center, come back to center, reach your arms up, inhale, exhale, twist to your right, left elbow to the right thigh, twist to the right side of the room even more if you can, come back to center, arms reach up, twist to the right, left elbow to the right knee, come back to center, arms reach up, Inhale, exhale, left elbow to the right knee, twist. One more time here. Arms reach up, look up towards the ceiling, and then bring your left elbow to your right thigh, twist. Come back to center, hands at heart center this time, fold here, and then fold down over the legs. Bring the feet hip distance apart, bend the knees generously, Opposite hand to opposite elbow, allow the head to dangle. Take one more back here before we do that on the opposite side. So this time we'll be twisting to the left. We'll bring the right elbow to the left thigh, left knee. Bring the hands to heart, center, sit the hips low, bending the knees, coming into chair pose. Inhale, reach the arms up. Hands to heart, center, twist to the left, right elbow to the left knee. Come back to center, hand, arms reach up. Inhale, exhale, twist to the left. Continue like this, move as quickly or slowly as you like. Inhale, chair pose. Arms reach up, exhale to twist. Inhale, chair pose, arms reach up. Exhale, right elbow to the left thigh. Let's do two more. Last one. Come back to chair pose, hands at heart center. Bring the feet farther apart, hip distance apart. Fold over your legs, bend the knees generously, opposite hand to opposite elbow, and allow the head to dangle. Bring the hands down to the mat. Step back to plank, lift the hips up to downward facing dog. Shift forward to plank, inhale, exhale, downward, downward facing dog. Two more, shift forward to plank, exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank, exhale, down dog. Shift forward to plank, inhale, step your feet forward to a hovering tabletop. Step back to plank, 
and continue like this. We'll do about five total switch which foot is stepping forward first each time. Last one here. Lift the hips up high to the sky once you come back to plank. Downward facing dog as you're ready. Rest your knees down onto the ground. Rest down into a child's pose, hips to the heels, arms out in front. Come back to the steady flow of your breath. Come back to the here and the now. Settle into your body. Settle back into your breath. Become very familiar with the flow of your breath. Walk your hands over towards the right side. Side body stretch from your child's pose. Go as far over towards the right side as you prefer, as you like. If you'd like more of a stretch, the left hand can come over top of the right hand. Let's come back through center and take this on the other side. Walk your hands over towards the left, as far to the left side as you like. Forehead can rest back down onto the ground. And if you're looking for more of a stretch, you can bring your right hand over top of the left hand. One more breath. Walk the hands back to traditional child pose, arms back out in front of you. And then walk the hands in towards your body, towards the knees. Come to a seated position. And let's try that challenging pose we tried at the beginning of class once again. Lolasana or pendant pose. So the fingers will be spread nice and far apart, hands on either side of you. Closer towards the hips than the knees. And again, this is a great place to use those books or your blocks if you have blocks. Make sure if you're using books, they're about the same height. And then when you're ready, inhale, press into the hands, engage the core. Engage the hip flexors, engage your arms, lift the knees up if you can, bring the knees in towards the chest, maybe you allow the feet to lift up as well. Let's try that one more time if you're ready, otherwise you can skip this or you can take a break, pause it, and play when you're ready. Press down into the hands, lift your knees up, and bring the knees towards the chest. If you can, try to lift the feet up as well. Look towards the top of your mat. And then lower down, bring your hands onto your thighs and just breathe here. Let's bring those legs out in front of us. Bending the legs, reverse tabletop to stretch out the core. Fingers can face the front of the mat, the sides of the mat, or the back. It's up to you. Press down into the hands, down into the feet to lift the hips up high towards the ceiling. Opening up through the chest, through the heart. Stretching the abdominals, stretching it 
exhale through the anterior core. Press down into the feet, down into the hands to lift up the hips up a little bit more. And then lower the hips down. Straighten your right leg. Cross your left foot over the right leg. Bring your left hand behind you. Come into a twist. Right arm wraps around the left leg. Look over your left shoulder. Allow yourself to sit up even taller than you think that you can. Your shoulders over the hips. Imagine that the crown of the head, the very top of your head, is going to touch the ceiling. That's how high you are thinking you are sitting right now. Root down into your sit bones. Shoulders away from the ears, especially the left shoulder from the left ear. Engage through the back body and engage the right leg, especially the right quadriceps, the front of the right thigh. Let's now come back to center and let's do the same thing on the other side. So left leg extends long towards the front of your mat, right foot crosses over it, left arm wraps around the right leg, right hand comes behind you. Look over the right shoulder towards the back of your room. Can you extend through the left leg even more? Can you sit up even taller, rooting down through the sits bones, shoulders over the hips, crown of the head reaching up towards the ceiling. And then breathe, come back to your breath. Can you send your breath way down deep into your belly, your deep core? Take two more full cycles of breath here. Release from your twist, come back to center, extend your right leg long, bring your feet towards the top two corners of your mat and slowly come to rest all the way down onto your back. Release now into your Shavasana. Arms long, legs long. Notice all of the parts of your body that are touching your mat. Feel the mat supporting you. a moment at the end of your practice to thank your body for allowing you to practice yoga, to move your body, and to challenge your body with different shapes, different movements, trying new things. Becoming stronger physically and then also becoming stronger mentally and emotionally. Perhaps doing something on your mat in your yoga practice that you never thought that you would be able to do. And then gaining confidence, feeling empowered, building your sense of self-esteem. And then taking that off of your mats and trying things you never thought you would be able to do. And then eventually succeeding at them and feeling proud of yourself. 
feeling proud of how far you have come. Rest here now on your mat. Know that there's nothing you need to do right now, nowhere to go. Just be here with your body, with your breath, with yourself, all parts of yourself. Find yourself quite distracted as you lie here resting in your Shavasana. Can you use your breath as an anchor to bring yourself back to this moment time and time again? Remind yourself of each inhale and each exhale. Feel your breath flowing in and feel your breath exiting your body through the nose or through the mouth. I encourage you to stay here resting in your Shavasana for as long as you would like. Take your time. I really hope that you enjoyed this practice. That it was a good challenge, but also an enjoyable one. I would really, really love it if you subscribe to my channel if you have not already. If you leave a comment, leaving me your thoughts, feedback, suggestions for future classes, I love hearing from you. It would also be great if you would like to, you can share this class with someone you think would benefit from it. And thank you so very much from the bottom of my heart for sharing your beautiful practice with me. Thank you. The light in me sees and recognizes the light in you.